Hey, buddy. Got my Bear Montana longbow here. Love this bow. One thing I don't like about it, probably the main thing I don't like about it, is that the hand shock is bad. Um, I mean, it shoots good and everything, but that hand shock just kills you. I'm going to keep that in mind now. If you're looking at the Bear Montana, um, it does got some hand shock. There's some things you can do, though, that help it. You can shoot a heavier arrow, um, which I'm going to try. Uh, you could add a quiver, which I'm going to try. Um, and you can increase the brace height, which I'm almost about eight. Um, so, I'm going to fling one without the quiver. Um, I got three different weight arrows here. First one I'm going to try is a 2218 vintage Eastern aluminum. And it's just got a 100 grain grizzly on the end. Um, let's see what that hand chuck like. So, and I'm going to shoot this bad boy at 18 yards. Right here in the base. Sit. All right. Let me uh, get situated. We're gonna see what happens. You might not even have no room to shoot this sucker. All right. I got a lot of targets down there in case I miss, which I will. Um, might be a good idea to put my glove on. Uh. If I can shoot it without my glove, I think I'll put it on. Now I do got a forearm pad. Let's put that on too. Just keep my clothes out of the way. Now, this is gonna be interesting. And I even got a broad head on it. Whew. Looks hard. Um, we're gonna see what this old hand shock is gonna do. Dude force and uh you hear a loud whack, you know I hit the plywood. So I'm just doing this for the hand shock. Sure, my strings on there good. Don't want it to bowl up on me. Very Montana longbow. Hand shocks a killer. Get your head up. Alright, I hit the deer. Hand shock wasn't real bad that time. Um. Wasn't real bad. I filled it up in here, but I got a carpal tunnel and stuff. I'm like 61 years old. Um, so that was a 2218, which is a heavy arrow. I mean, none of these arrows are really gonna go with this bow, but I'm just uh, doing a little experiment here. These are traditionals. Now, that's a pretty heavy arrow here. I got an insert inside this up front. It's about. The FOC is like uh, 75. 75 up front. Probably about 175 up front. It's like a 530 grain arrow. Um, so this is a heavy arrow, so the hand shot should be a little better. Which I'm at roughly around 8 brake height. That was a good shot. Hand shock was better. Better on the hand shock with a heavy arrow. I imagine when I had to quiver to this, I think we're going to be all right. But let me tell you what, if you shoot a light arrow, 
See no quiver, nothing like arrow? Man, that hand shock is going to get you back. These here is 1971. Kodiak Magnum Bear Fiberglass Arrow. Heavy. Got the old bear broadhead on the end. Right in the back. I hope I hit that deer with this. I don't want to mess up my razor back. I usually shoot it like 12 yards. So I'm back here almost 20 yards. Um, I think it's kind of fun. I kind of like it. I might just expand my yardage. Alright, now this guy's strong helical. I like that. Strong helical. get up in there where I want that arrow exactly to be the knocks on these are a little you know they're old all right here we go Let's see what this hand shot like. this is a heavy arrow over here that was right next to the other one now, that one flew kind of slow. It's heavy arrow. Um, <clears throat> shooting them heavy arrows really makes a difference on the hand shock. I still can feel some hand shock in here. But like I said, you know, my hands are kind of jacked up. But if you talk to anybody, um, they'll tell you that if they own a Bear Montana, they'll tell you about the hand shock. Um, and that wasn't that bad. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have my quiver. I'm shooting to the left down here. I'm going to have my quiver. And then we're going to take them from there. Shoot them same three arrows. And uh, see if that even takes away more. But hey, this is a beautiful bow. Bear Montana bow. Um, 45 pounds. Actually, my nephew, my nephew gave me this bow. Um, I taught him everything he knows. That's why he gave it to me, I guess. He was a little guy. But, no, he's a big guy, and I'm getting littler, because I'm getting older. <laughs> but anyway, let me get my uh, quiver on there, and uh, we'll see what happens, and I'll be right back with you. All right. Got my quiver on. It's a mini bow. That's a nice quiver right there. Holds four arrows. Um... I'm gonna add one arrow to the mix. It's a uh, go tip traditional. I think it's 9.3 grain print. Um, it's a light arrow. Um, we're gonna add this to the mix. Now I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna get probably some major hand shock with this arrow right here. I'm gonna go ahead and fire that. Uh, I got my quiver on. I got some arrows in there. It's gonna add some weight. Even with that, with these arrows here, I have a feeling that we're going to get some hand shock. Okay, see what happens. A little more hand shock with that. A little more hand shock. I'm getting right up in here. Um... Not a whole lot more, but enough to where, you know, I'd be a little uncomfortable. Um, that was just fill point. I'm going to go ahead and shoot these uh, Kodiak mags with the broad head. We're going to see. This helps a hand shot. And about eight, brace height. A little under eight, but I like it about there. Nice shot. <clears throat> Definitely might extend my yardage. So I'm uh, shooting a little better at this yardage. Um, Alright. We're going to go... Decent traditional heavy arrow. Get this up in there. 
we go. Hand shock on that one, bad. Heavy arrow, uh, got the quiver. Plus, it's going to quiet down your bow when you put your quiver on. It's going to make it a little quieter. Hardly any hand shock. Hardly any hand shock. Alright. I'm going to shoot the old Easton 2218s. I made these up. I uh, got a strong helical on them. Left helical. Right about in there, I don't know. A little more, a little more hand shock with that one. Um. Definitely shooting the heavier arrow, that one uh, Eastern traditional, all the weight up front, um, which is the heaviest arrow I got down here. Besides that, Kodiak Mag. Now that did take away some of the hand chalk, so keep that in mind. You get a Bear Montana longbow. Um, add your quiver. It's going to keep your bow quieter. It's going to take away some hand chalk. Shoot the heaviest arrow you can, which you want to anyway. Um, and then the hand shock ain't all that bad. I mean, a lot of guys say, oh, I hate that bow because of the hand shock. Um, well, it's not always the case. Um, I'm going to keep shooting some here. But it's kind of fun. And uh, I hope that helps y'all out on the hand shock with the Bear Montana Longbow. I love this bow, and I might help with this weekend. Um, I'm liking the charge. I'm going to start shooting a little further. So, yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching the Mirror Bow Hunter, and I will catch you later. Have a good one.